The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 9, Nasdaq's down 5, S&P's a flat, Gold contract down fourteen dollars forty cents, trading at twelve seventy six an ounce. We have silver off uh, forty eight cents. Man, when they wax silver, they wax silver. Definitely uh, sixteen dollars and sixty three cents. Platinum's off eight bucks nine sixty an ounce. You get the copper market down two pennies, trading at uh, two eighty eight a pound. Light sweet crude down forty seven cents, forty seven dollars twelve cents a barrel. Notes ten year note down twelve ticks, thirty year bond off twenty seven ticks. Both. Uh, with volume expanding, folks. Uh, those babies are going south uh, pretty quick today. King dollar. King dollar is up by 610 ticks, trading at 93.915. The euro is at 117 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 110 to the U.S. dollar. And uh, inside the retail uh, deal out here again, Dick Sporting Goods, Coach, getting smoked in a big way. Uh, and the thing that's interesting about Dick's, of course, is that they, they, uh, they're actually... Basically saying that the, the leisure um, apparel apparel but, market, yeah, is like over. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Interesting. I, I, I doubt it is, but the, yeah. the poor people. I mean, I can see the stock just went from uh, fifty bucks to twenty eight dollars in sure. three months, right? Let's go over to my man, Mr. Kevin Hicks, as we do each and every trading day. And don't forget, folks, Kevin, Scott Connor, TD Ameritrade, Swim Lessons. They got a great new program. You get video. You get a lot of great information. Uh, bottom line, Kevin was out there yesterday with a big Dick sign up. Everyone's waiting for Dick Sporting Goods, man. Got to love it. And, folks, every trading day, right after our program, 11 to 12. So no matter where you are in the country right now, if you happen to be down in the West Coast, I know it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, eight, yeah, 7 o'clock, uh, you can get right on your cell phone, tfnn.com, you hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, O'Briens. How's everybody doing? Well, Great everyone's good. On. You know, I mean, you know, the, that whole leisure athletic deal, it's not over for us, but evidently it's over for a lot of people. I don't man. know if everyone's good, right? No. Some of those buyers and dicks are not doing well no, this morning. That's I, I a know, tough one, man. For sure. It's pretty intense. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people thought dicks were going to really benefit from sports authority going yes. under, right? And yes. I think long term, they may actually benefit from people dropping out of the industry if they can hold on. Right. Right. They may be the last one standing. That said, this industry is under pressure. Yeah. You know, these stores are so big. Man. They are yeah. so I mean, big. That's, you know, especially, well. They, I've been in one a couple times, you know, I, but they are. They're expensive. They're, they're, they're not cheap. You know, yeah. they're, they're, they're good stuff, for it. You know, yeah. I mean, they have a lot of great quality stuff. But, yeah, they're, they're, they have quite a retail space to, to push some numbers to entertain that type of a space in big malls. I mean, that, they, the, yeah. The, the rent structure alone you know, is yeah. a mind You know what blow. they are? You know what's not working right now is... Retail in general, discount retail like TJ Ma TJX, yep. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, that's working. They beat and they raise guidance. But and Kevin, we've talked about fundamentally ourselves that we visit those stores, whether it's Nordstrom yeah. Racks or something. You, you, know, I, yeah. you and I have had this conversation, exactly. right? How how it's amazing. And you know what's the what's the shining light right now in Nordstrom? Nordstrom Rack totally. in the yep. online. Right, and so it's it's away from the retailers and towards all the discount retailers are holding their own. But, but you better be someone you know. Consumers are price conscious, much more so because the availability exactly. to compare prices on the internet, you know, and we just might become accustomed to shopping price on, you know, if, if it's a comparable item, especially if you can, you know, and that type of deal for it, sure. It, it's huge. You know, all, I'm sure all of us we you get used to it. You like to price shop, right? I got to tell you a story right now. Now Tommy knows this woman, right? We're at Home Goods. I love Home Goods, right? Bridget was there. I wasn't there. Kelly, th this this woman owns so much real estate, insane. I'm talking millions. She has a Rolls Royce. This is two weeks ago. She has a Rolls Royce, Kevin, right at Home Goods, and she's lugging the stuff out herself. Sure. Yeah. That, that's that, I, when Bridget came home and told me. I says that says it all. Sure. It really, it really does. Right. You know, because right. hey, guess what? That's why she has a Rolls Royce. Sure. 
And, and, and think about, like, Home Depot. Home Depot just raised their guidance for the second time in a year. Yeah. And the stock is down five bucks. <laughs> right? What have yeah. you done so, for me lately, Kevin? Yeah. Seriously. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. So, I mean, the retailers are under pressure. That's for sure. Yeah. Pretty amazing. It is. Absolutely amazing. You know, so, hey, how, how do you like your new gig, man? You know, we're having a lot of fun doing it. You know what? Here's what I like about it the most. I love hanging out with all these smart young people. Yeah. They get me going. They get my energy level up. And that's been the best part of this. You know, hanging out with Victor Jones and Jake Brown and Mary Ryan, these young kids that are coming on the show. It really gets your energy level. It really. You guys got quite a crew, man. You do. I've been yeah. watching and it. You know, you know what's Mark, great? The show is always great, folks. What's great, though, just with shows like this, they have more time to explain everything in a, in a big globe, sure. which is really cool. You know what I'm right. saying? Because you, right. you, you go through the macro. With then, that trader perspective. Exactly. Too, then you're going into really, the technicals. Then yeah. you're going into, okay, what is the trade? This okay. is a bullish position. This is right. a bearish position. This yeah. is your risk, your reward. Your and then you strategy. take that analyzing tab. And you better make sure, if you're, you're bullish or bearish, folks, they show you with that analyzing tab. You better make sure that I use this bullish, you know, because you have to be bullish or bearish plus another four bucks. Kevin, we're learning on. all the time. I'm coming into his office yeah. and saying, do you see what they were doing that analyzing? Analyze tab, and I'm showing him. And he, yeah, we got to get better on yeah. that analyze tab, man, it's for stuff. sure. And you know, and oh, by the way, Mary Ryan showing people how to do it on their mobile. I on saw that, and, and I was like, oh iPad. man, now I got to get into that. I can't I, believe because I'm not there yet, the, but the capabilities the are there. I like how you guys business, are explaining. Them. Yeah, I think the mobile's actually easier to use than the. Than right. the, I, the, the, the yeah. What you guys were pulling up, I was watching that segment, yeah. Kevin. I mean, I was like, wow, yeah. I had no that's idea that that could be. That's the fastest growing part of our business. Yeah, it's mobile. That's it, man. And everyone's on their mobile. That's the deal, right. for sure. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, it's good to, the more people we can expose to this, remember, TD Ameritrade, what we focus on, education. Yeah. We want you to be most prepared when you go out there to trade. So, we take a look at all these tools that TD Ameritrade has. It's, you know, I'm having a blast. Yeah, and you got to be so psyched because, you know, folks, we've all been doing this a long time, and, and I'm not kidding. When you can learn something, and you've been doing this for 30 or 35 years. It says quite a bit, for man. sure. Do you know what I mean? Right. And I'm let's, learning. Let's put it this time. Wait, Tom. When you get a text at 11 o'clock at night from a young Jake Brown going, who's your favorite pro wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, so those segments extend well into the evening, yeah. huh, Kevin? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> who's your favorite pro wrestler? I'm like, what awesome. are you talking about? Now you've got me all afraid for today's show. That's but there awesome. it is. Well, you know why? Because we need a life, too. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to keep okay. people entertained right. with education, right. you know? It's, right. it's, it's a great balance Learning about trading and trading doesn't have to be awake. Right. It yeah. should be fun. Yeah, totally. There's, there's no doubt. I'm living proof of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got to love it, man. Right. So, folks, right. right here, every trading day. Now, if you haven't test drove the Thinkorswim platform, folks, come over to our website right now. You hit the banner, bring up the platform, and let you trade with paper money. You can listen to uh, the swim lessons coming up at 11 o'clock. Uh, you're going to be amazed, number one, how the platform works, how that, okay, you know, you, you watch me, I got a Bloomberg, big deal. You know, Bloomberg is $6,000 a quarter. Guess what? You don't need a Bloomberg. All you need. There we go. It, it just, I'm There's so addicted to it because I've had it for like 25 years. We got so that analyzed like, tab up, Kevin. We're right. breaking it down. Totally. Nice. nice. Totally. Big how about the retail sales? I'm killing by. Yeah. yeah that's point a great, that's a great point scene. Three, I know. Totally. I know. Big right. number. Kevin, thank you so much. For, we look forward to the show in uh, 50 minutes. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Awesome. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, 
active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow right now down 12, Nasdaq's off 14, S&Ps are off 2. And uh, it's going to get intriguing out here because uh, what you had, uh, you know, I was doing this update. And so you had the E-minis go up and, and almost get to the downdraft, which is 24.74. Okay. We hit 24.73.25. Okay. And it looks like it's going to fail. The NQs, which were the strongest yesterday, I believe they just failed. They did. Okay, so that's a big number. Sure. You know, uh, 59.23. Okay. We came up, up there yesterday, anemic volume, but guess what? It did it. Yeah. It gets over it. You close under this, man, you're going right back down the other side. The number to keep your eye on is that June 9th number, though, okay. which is 59.07, because okay. that's sure. that was the first really good down. we have been trying to make it over that. Definitely. Let's go to our man, Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, let's go. Oh, sorry, Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, what's happening, brother? Hey, how are you guys today? We're going, doing great. Yourself? Doing really good. Good. Uh, I was going to ask you about Home Depot. They had a really great report, and they're down to 148.83 right now. I was just wondering if at, like, 143.97 or somewhere in that area, it would be a good buy point on them. Yeah, let's take a look at it. I, I, so Home Depot, folks, has been on a tear for six years. You know, it, we've gone from, in five years, it's gone from $42 to, well, the high is 158 today. I mean, it's a great-looking chart. You know, if, if you take a look at the last sure. few months, it doesn't look that great. But the reality is, is that this is it's quite a, rocket, a chart. Sure. Yeah, you know, 2011 actually was lower than that. It was, 28. Yeah, 28 straight up. So I'd give it a little more breathing room than that. You know, like, this could really come down to, like, 132 and have nothing wrong with it. Just, you know. Especially because, like you said it, Jim, they came out with a great report and they're down $5.50 right. right now. So what happens if they ever 
disappointed and didn't yeah. guide up as you know Kevin Hanks was talking about <laughs> yeah. it as well. I mean, they, that just might be a natural one. When expectations are so high and the rock, you know, it's a rocket ship. No, totally. Yeah. And you know, I can see what you're looking at. You look at yeah. that swing point. Sure. Um, we almost made it back there in one day. Though, we to did. Be fair. It's you like, know, and in most times, what 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 you do have happening. Let me just see something else because all these 13 Fs are out too. So there's been so much money made, and you know, some of these too. It's like people just say, "Hey, listen, man, I made a fortune. I want to get out." So capital was moving it out, but that's nothing. Yeah, those are all June 30th dated. Yeah. There's nothing real heavy there. No one's bailing big time, which, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I would just give it a little bit more time, you know, because you're still buying, you know, even down then. Can you jump to the news just yeah. to see what their numbers are? Yeah, so just... let's take a look at that. There you go. Look at that. Oh, my God. So the second quarter... Comp, uh, uh, comp sales. Comp sales are up 6.3 percent. That's yeah. huge. It's man. amazing. They estimated being up 5 percent. When right. you think about comparable sales, yeah, as that's in, big. That's they're already doing huge numbers last year to be right. growing by an estimated five. They grow by 6.3. Right. Um, Q2 revenue 28.11 billion versus 27.8. I mean, you're talking yeah. about that's a 300 million beat. Doesn't look like much when you're talking about tens mm -hmm. of billions. Um, and still, you know, home, they see earnings per year 729. They, they saw, saw 715, 727. So I mean, that's that's almost a little bit more of a heads up, Jim. You know, it's it's things could have been a lot worse when they came out with their earnings, and still they're down 550. So be careful, at least. Right, and that's probably the market too. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, Definitely. It's, you know, we've been up for so long. So you know, I think that the way to do this now is you pick out the stocks you want, you sit there and you wait. You know. Okay. Okay, uh, man. Well, I. I'll wait a while. I appreciate you guys. You Thanks, have a Jim. great one. Have a safe one, man. You too. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to our man, Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom and Tommy. How you good doing, Good morning. Man? Good, good. I'm doing great. I'm back riding on this Evix bus. Here we go. That's that's the buy. I <laughs> it can got see to, it. It got back down to a level that you could buy it, right? Yep. So let's take a look at it. So Anything in the 16s, I like. Yes, uh, this is the Velocity Share two times uh, VIX short term exchange traded note. Sure. Um, so he was trading this, you know, last week, folks. And this thing went from uh, yeah. 15.49 on the 8th up to 24. My God. Back down to. Like we say, it's always a quick reprieve. Back down much. to 16.37. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's. It's a, so I bought it on the open, got rid of it. Then I put in an order for 16.88. It hit it, and I got rid of it at I don't know 17.50 or something like that. And I'm looking, I guess. So I changed my question now. I'm wondering if uh, if we just keep doing that, or if we should buy some more, or what? I just traded today. That, yeah, that's the way yeah. you do it. So what happens, folks, in a, in a vehicle like this? If, you, if you're listening and say, okay, how the heck do you just do that that quick? There's certain, this is the type of equity that this jumps around like crazy. So I suspect when he's doing it, you have to have those orders in. Sure. Your, your fingers yeah. not fast yeah, enough. Just, right. You know I'm just I mean? putting in orders that uh, kind of probably no. don't make any sense. But if they pick up mm -hmm. or they go, then yeah. No, yeah. no, they totally make sense. That's the way you want to trade this, okay? Because what happens, folks, is this. Is that when you get a jumpy equity like this, it, it's, a, it's a great way to trade it. Sure. It doesn't mean you're going to get it every time. Sure. But many times you do because... There's either someone want to buy it, someone want to sell it, and they always push it far. And the VIX itself, you know, is a very fast-moving vehicle. Yeah, you know, VIX it's equity. It's alive yep. and kicking today, yep. So this is what it trades off of, the right. VIXy, just to be clear and not actually off the VIX. Right. Which, and the... So do you, do you know what the difference is, Tom, about actually what this trades off of? Because Tommy pulled this you up the other day. You know, I actually, I don't. I thought it was trading off the VIX, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, yeah. so what happened was, is when you were trading this double, right, you called right. the other day, and I saw that the VIX had jumped from, let's call it like 11 to 15 or something. Right. So it was up like the VIX is up $4 off 11. That's like 30%, call right. it. And you're trading a double. And I was like, well, the double should be up 60%, right? But the double was only up 20%, which means that the underlying would be up 10%, and the VIX was up 30%. And right. I was like, what's going on? And what's going on is that the TVIX trades off the VIXI. And this is a short-term futures exchange-traded fund incorporated. The fund seeks daily investment that correspond to the S&P VIX short-term index before fees. But what they're doing is they're using 
I think one month and two month futures type um, trades. So anyway, this when you're looking at it, it's trading off this, the VIXY, V-I-X-Y, and the T-VIX is double this, and it's not gonna have the same type of volatility that the VIX might have. Yeah, that's right, it does um, And you can't trade the VIX. You know, you can trade options on the VIX, right. but you can't trade the VIX. Um, so that's, well, that's just- good. I learned something then. That's there good. you go, yeah. <laughs> no, it really is good to know, man, because they, they, Visit. Believe me, my head, I said, why weren't you up 60%, man? Right. That's it, you know, because the VIX percentage-wise, you know, when the VIX is at that $10, $11 mark, percentage-wise, it's just insane when it gets those bounces. Um, so that's why you can always pull it up, and you'll see when this thing moves. Like the day that you were talking to us, the VIX was up about 10%, and the T-VIX was up 20% right on the dot. So that's where it's trading double whatever this is at. So check this out as well when you're looking at those. Right, so I'll do this right now. Will do. Well, thank you guys, and uh, I just, I just, I don't know if there's a triple for this thing, but uh, I haven't been able to find that. I was looking See, for it, I, but okay. I can't find I, I just put, if you're watching Tiger TV, I just put the, the VIX on top of it. You, you really can't tell the difference, but that's the comparison yeah, of I'm the VIXY and the VIX. But I'm just not sure, because this is showing the VIX at 112 or something. I'm not sure. We, we, that's the VIX index. I'm not sure how that, you know, the VIX isn't at 112 right now. We'll try and pull it up. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your help. Okay, awesome. Man. Thanks, Tom. Stay Take right care. there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow's up one. Nasdaq's down six. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down seven. You get the NASDAQ off six. S&Ps are off one. And folks, if you haven't uh, test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. You get some nice volatility out here. Come over to our website at TFNN. You see the banner on the very top. You can hit that banner. Bring up the platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these uh, defined option contracts trade. Now, as you're over there, what you're going to see is the 800th edition of the Gold Report next week. 800 weeks, what's going on? I know, pretty intense. <laughs> it's, it's, you gotta love it, man. It's, it's pretty wild, man. So, uh, we're doing a special. Uh, the I just did the 799th edition yesterday. You sure which did. Which you can get, you know. Uh, so what the special is, folks, is you get 60 weeks for six hundred dollars. Yeah, ten, ten so bucks sixty a week. weeks. You know, you're looking at about fourteen months. Yeah. Um, for six hundred dollars, normally the gold report's eighty-five dollars a month. So ten dollars a week. You know, you're looking at about fifty percent savings off the monthly price. You get your fourteen months, and yeah, like you said, you know, you get instant access to the archives. Of course, issue eight hundred coming on Monday, and this will run through next week with the eight hundredth promotion. So get in there, check it out, and. Like we said, this is open to new or current. Yep. So no matter what you are, you know, if you're a current subscriber, you can fill this out. You'll pay $600 for the 600 weeks, and they'll just kind of forward your subscription prepaid. For, for 60 four, weeks, yeah. For, yeah. Excuse <laughs> me, for 60 weeks, yeah. Um, good. Not $100 a week. Sorry, we're good. not going to pull that one off. No, it's no. for six weeks, yeah. But, um, or, you know, um, so current people, new people, same thing, you can fill this out. If people using their Tiger Dollars, you can order new. That's right in the Tiger Dollar page. People log in, use those as well. So check it out. That'll run through next week. 800 weeks, man. Congratulations. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's crazy, man. That time, is crazy. Times, that's where time really gets to be pretty wild. There's a lot of times where time gets to be pretty yeah, wild. That's, yeah. that's one of them, though. There's I'll give you them. that one. It's <laughs> one of them, man. No doubt. Yeah. And, we, you know, I'd say when um, the first time we ever did that 60 per 600 promotion was on the 600th gold report, uh, which is 200 it. gold reports ago, which is almost four years. So picture this, folks. And I, I'm sure people out there listening remember when we did the 60 for 600 I, and launched it. I remember when you came in my office on the 600th. Yeah. And, then and I said, hey, it's going to be your 600. He comes in this week like... Hey, it's going to be 800. I'm looking, I'm like, what? You know when the next time is? 1,000. That's right. Totally. All right. And don't hold out for the 1,000 promotion because this is a I good love one. It. I love <laughs> it. Let's go inside this market and take a look and see uh, what's moving things out here. So inside the Dow Industrials. Uh, We're red. What's going on, man? I know, man. I know. Uh, inside the HD, Dow. HD. That's, go ahead. Yeah. 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 Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot, the 38 negative points. Nike 8, Chevron 6, United Technologies 4. Uh, Goldman putting 13 positive points, United Health 7, American Express 6. And Apple 6. Apple 6. NDX 100, let's take a look there. So the strength is uh, win. Win. That's up 4%. Is everyone yeah. gambling in Gambling Macau? in Vegas, uh, Macau, yeah. yeah. Mylan Pharmaceuticals up 2.8. Uh, <laughs> Are they taking cruises to Macau to go gambling? Is yeah, that what they're doing? Norwegian Cruise up 1.5. <laughs> Taken away from it is uh, Tractor Supply down 3.8. Uh, QVC down 3.4. Uh, oh, O'Reilly down 2%. And C Trip down a 2. Let me go with this O'Reilly Automotive yeah. for a second. I, it seems and, like there's always those rumors that they're going to be facing Amazon heat, right? Yeah, Advanced Auto Parts. A D V A. Uh, because advanced auto parts, no. I believe, are down big. There it is. AAP. AAP. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God. There you down go. $22. So, let's. From like 108, so you're looking at 19, 18, 19 percent. Ooh. This is pretty intense. Maybe so, we can jump into the news after you break yeah. it down. Because wow. one of them came out with earnings, and I'm guessing it's advanced yeah, it's, auto parts, and that's what's sending. So this is down from $201 in 2015. 86. Pretty intense. Pretty intense for sure. <laughs> but it's going to go right back to the last yeah. time with volume, man. Unreal. So let's see what they have to say. Uh, that was. Uh, there you go. So you had. Two, um, second quarter sales came in right in line. There's maybe, ah, that's pretty close to in line. It's in 0% versus 0 0.3. Uh, oh, there you go. Earnings missed by 7 cents. 158 versus 165. Yeah, they missed by 9 cents. Reveals 17% retreat in Q2 bottom line. I think there was something even more here with... Yeah, this, you see that, that it's going to be what the CEO says. Forecast continuing sales slump. Okay, I'm just this, not seeing this. If many. the CEO says this right here. Okay, there you go, yeah. 
Yeah, that's not a good headline. No. <laughs> auto pot has plunged the most uh, on record as quarterly sales and profit trails estimates in the auto pots. Uh, retail's chief executive officer Juan headwinds will continue. Yeah. yeah. Same store sales were flat compared with analyst average estimate of, of an increase. Um, it's surprising that O'Reilly's only down like 2% when you, this is right? You yeah. I mean? I mean, that's, I wonder what mm, remains to be seen as yeah. in, I, are they losing share value to O'Reilly? Right. Or are yeah. they both losing share value to right. the likes of Amazon and, and so, so forth? Let's see. O-R-L-Y. Let's look at this. Thing. Yeah. Because this is unusual that... Looks like that was much lower, too, um, yeah. and it's climbed back higher. Oh, yeah. It's, so that Even today, it was at 186 two, at one point. So this has lost $100 since it's high. Can you jump into their news as well and see what... Um, yeah. Let's yeah, definitely see. facing problems, both of them. And, you know, they talk about Amazon. Now they have that retail. Right. Let's see. Yeah, at least, you know, it's all the, the, the first one that comes up is, yeah, right, it's yeah. all about it being it auto. It yeah, is, yeah. Right. which would make sense in terms of, you know, if you have, those those are the two big players in the market, right? One of them comes out and says, man, our industry is facing some heat. Of course, it's going to translate. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And it should. Those are, those are we talked about before. Those are one of those items that are completely comparable. It's just, you're shopping for cost. There's no, everybody knows what piece they need in their car. Oh, or, sure. You know what I mean? So oh, why right. do you need a retail space to deliver that job? It seems like anybody ordering those car parts right. could easily just have it delivered. There's no, you don't need oh, to yeah. window shop for car parts, right? No. They, they, all that whole deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not just like, show me the best price on the, I and mean, most of the times they even have like the piece, the order part number. Sure. Right? Oh, and there's, so it's there's, like, there's no doubt. Why do you need a retail space when people just come in with order part numbers and yeah. walk out with pieces? That's, Amazon's bread and butter. It is. Amazon's Tell me what product bread. you want, and I'll get it to your door in no time at the cheapest price. Right. As you see, yesterday, uh, yesterday Target bought a like a delivery service. Uh, Target companies. reached to buy a software Chase. company as it chases Amazon. Good so, luck. <laughs> uh, so Target's okay. looking to improve its digital and increased uh, yeah. competition. Acquired a software company that manages local and same day delivery. So the so, way they got so this, they're buying Grand that? Junction. Yeah. yeah. They they get seven hundred carriers across North America, so okay. the, the software ties up 700 probably smaller carriers. So they currently already handle the same-day delivery service for Target Store in Manhattan, Tribeca. Tribeca. Yeah. I mean, good luck, but it's like, that's a different, you know, like a lot of Seriously. companies could handle your deliveries in Manhattan's Tribeca neighborhood, I bet, just because oh, it's sure. condensed, you, yeah. you know, of course, but right. you want to handle it nationwide, um, right. but I bet what, that that's going to be the beginning, at least the deal is part of a broader overhaul of logistics operations at Minneapolis-based Target. The company aims to enhance the efficiency, profitability of web business. I mean, yeah, they got to get We're it done. We're not going to be going to the store for anything. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, if it's... What's in it, you know, I was listening to Bloomberg a little bit today, you know, and they were just talking about the mall traffic, of course, and right. what's going on, and, you know, and the likes of the huge malls. They mentioned King of Prussia down in Pennsylvania, where I okay. live at. They're doing great, you know, and, and the, 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 yeah. the, some of the bigger malls in Tampa, they're okay. doing great, right. you know, um, but it's that difference. The of, destination malls. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, the, yeah, yeah. 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 Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dial right now. It's flat. Nasdaq's down nine. SPs are up one. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. 
He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And folks, if you want some volatility, well, guess what? Just to get over and take a look at the uh, whole uh, Bitcoin world out here today. And uh, you got it. Watch our world. We got a high of 44.49. 44.49. Right now, it's trading 38.54. <laughs> On its way to 12,000. Holy <laughs> cow. I mean, it's pretty. That's, uh, this, this it's is, intriguing. You know, it it's is. definitely intriguing. As traders, you have to take a look at it as intriguing. Oh. We, were, we were talking... During the break, and um, we had a great call yesterday talking about they were trading that Ethereum too. Yeah. Um, you know, if you believe in Bitcoin, I think there's only something like 21 million that are ever going to be produced as part of the system. Right. So, geez, if you're a believer and there's only going to be 21 million of them ever made, then maybe people are clamoring and maybe they're not afraid to. You know, it's interesting saying the Winklevoss twins, right? Yeah. Like, did they hold? Did they sell out? I mean, I know. We'll have to put what the date was when their ETF got negated because actually that's when like things started to skyrocket actually on them. Maybe it was somewhere back around here. Remember, I mean, the fear was that the ETF, with the thought was the ETF would get approved right. and Bitcoin would skyrocket. Right. The ETF got denied right. and Bitcoin proceeded to skyrocket anyway. from there on out. Right. Um, right. So we, it'd be interesting to see because they had quite a stash of Bitcoins for sure of whether, um, whether they sold or what they did. I and mean, who knows if we'll find out. No, I know. know. Yeah. I know. yeah. And they're asking the den, you know, who says 21 million? And that's the structure of the system, you know, that you can only, basically the mining of the Bitcoin slows down right. as time goes on. Right. So, you know, right now you can mine more of them, but as time goes, it takes more power, more time to yeah. mine more Bitcoins. So as the system goes through, it's going to be a, a currency that is kind of capped at that end. You know, what just happens is the value of each Bitcoin obviously changes. You know, at one point we we're saying maybe one Bitcoin's worth worth one million dollars. You got twenty one right. million out there, it's that twenty one trillion dollars in kind of market cap equity value sure. of the whole deal. And geez, if you're a world currency type, that's not much no, to have twenty one trillion. The intriguing no. part too is that the uh, one of the largest uh, you know like Amazon sets up all these data banks, right? And one of the very large data banks is in Sweden. Okay. It has been for a long period of time. And it's because it's so cold there but the way that the guy has it set up, he's taking the, the coldness from the earth. Okay. It up. And now one of the biggest mining sure. data banks is also in Sweden. Sure. And I, I'm not sure what the... power, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because power is the most expensive part of mining for the for the, I bet. For the Bitcoins. Yeah, and for yeah. any probably server farm, right. you know, having right. that electricity, right. keeping right. it cool, keeping them all powered, and yep. yeah, having a nice 
pretty amazing. Nice, cool space for sure. Now, listen, folks, as you come over to uh, our website at TFNN, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, he got something special for you. Yeah, um, talk about market action. We right. talked to Basil yesterday, and you know, he he spoke about he and I kind of chatting about when he wanted to do this, kind yeah. of timing it, timing it well. And man, it looks like he timed it pretty well I with know. what's going on. Seriously. So. Two series webinar. He did one on the second of this month, August second. Yeah. He's doing one tomorrow night, five till six thirty, ninety minutes long. Can sector rotation buoy the market into two thousand eighteen as we come into September, October, November, December of two thousand seventeen? So for six times each time for six years each time the market feels ready to have a sharp decline. I mean, talk about like what did we just go through? You know, we just tanked down, and then yep. what's picking up? What's Coming picking right up back. the slack yep. as we come back? Formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. So Baz will be in there tomorrow night for subscribers to the opening call. You get a 30-day free trial. You get his newsletter. He's in there. I think he's got like eight, ten charts this morning. I was okay. looking at them, and you instantly gain access to that first archive. So get in there, sign up. The moment you sign up, that's added to your members page. You can get in there and watch that. And of course, tomorrow night's workshop that'll be archived as well. Two 90-minute workshops. I watched the first one. I was here in the office. Great, great workshop, and um, I look forward to tomorrow night's as well. Right in the front page of TFNN, folks. So, other things we have going on, right? Jumping yeah. around. We're doing a lot in August. Oh, yeah. So, we got Guess the Close giveaway. That's right. So, what's today? Today's the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, good. Maybe we'll peg right on that 22,000 mark. Okay. We'll see what happens. So, head on over to our Facebook. Guess where the close is going to be. You can get there right through here. And prizes for today. One bottle of Primal, Primal Edge. Edge. Cool. We had our man Nico, we had Paige in here this yeah. morning doing their program. Uh, second place is a month subscription to Health Signals. Yeah. They uh, comes out twice a month. And actually, that just had a new issue that came out this morning. Okay. So that's timely. And um, a Thinker Swim Mouse Bad, a copy of the U.S. Constitution. Check that out. And if you just want to get Primal Edge, we actually have this going on as well. For the month of August, you can save $25. We did this about a year ago. Yeah. So when you sign up, you can save $25. Normally, it's $89 a month when you sign up for the auto ship. When you sign up now, you can pay only $64 for your first month. And that includes shipping, and you get a bottle of Primal Edge sent out to you. Priority mail ends up right at your door, and uh, you can enjoy that beautiful Primal Edge daily nutrition. Get wow. healthy for August in the summer. you got to stay healthy, man. That's right. The rest of you don't have your health, you don't have anything. That's right. So get in there and guess where the Dow is going to close. And if you don't win a bottle of Primal Edge, then go take advantage of the sale. Yeah. And, and right now, you get the Dow at 22,002. Three. Yeah. Two knife yeah. <laughs> yeah, love it. Some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here, folks. So let's let's take a look at them out here. And uh, I suspect it's going to be low volume out here today. Snapchat. How about that? Huh? Climbing all the way back from where they tanked from. Yeah, that's up 29 cents, 1289. That that opened at a low yesterday and came right back. And Snapchat. I, yeah. From even if you want to look at the chart, it's remarkable where it tanked on those earnings and it's come all the way back. Well, the. I mean, look at that. That's yeah. That was the and that was the 13 F filings that came out yesterday too. Okay. That's, you know, it, it's still it, and it, it's interesting. It was it was showing that I think it was Eddie Lambert sold not Eddie Lambert. Uh, some other big hedge fund sold. Okay. But guess what? Bang! Everyone was buying right at that open yesterday. Okay. It opened at the low and they just kept buying. Sure. So we'll see where it shakes out. But yeah. I think it looks like they're still going to have problems. <laughs> yeah, they might um, get bought out. I mean, I'm sure that's a play that a lot of people are making on that. Oh yeah. Just like a Twitter. Right. right? Yeah. Oh, what is this? First Bitcoin. What is this? <laughs> first Bitcoin. Hey, let's look at this. With this. Maybe they're a miner. This is First Bitcoin Capital. Provides online-based cap consumer transaction service. The company offers Bitcoin and other <laughs> cryptocurrencies. It's a penny stock spike into a two-dollar stock. Yeah. So let's look at this. Vancouver, oh, Vancouver, Canada. Market yeah. cap of four hundred eighty million dollars. Oh my God. That's look, what I said. Penny folks, stock. no wonder why this is up. So look at this. This. Last week, this Wonder was at up, 35 cents. Down. <laughs> yeah. 35 cents, up to 315, hits 125 this morning. Okay. Who needs Bitcoin when you can trade this thing? Yeah, no. This is, <laughs> well, you know, it was funny. Uh, Larry, Larry had uh, Mark Leave with on this can morning. Can you just go back? I, I, I just saw the website. talking about this, yeah. Bitcoin Capital Corp, whatever that okay. is. I was just curious. Okay, yeah. so let me just see if I can find anything with these people. Uh, good luck. I know, no, that's yeah, exactly, No, I, I was exactly. interested to see. I just. PHDC. Let's see who owns it. Okay, so. Curbs. They, they, yeah. This is a. That doesn't even show. I mean, that's no, no, 0%. I, I know. I know. Outstanding, so. Pretty wild. Yeah. Okay, so. Who's this is that thing. That's this it. is going to be a, one of these deals. Well, we'll find out, but it looks to me like it's going to be one of those deals. Out of Vancouver, you know, you can you can get a listing in Vancouver in about one second, folks. Um, What's going on 
that? This 2004. Be, I don't know. Well, watch. This they is, must have been doing something else back then. The, no, the way this goat works, this is probably a reverse. You, you buy. What you can do is you can you can buy a a company that's already been out there that listed is, or something. Is, yeah, is dormant. Sure. Because um, Bitcoin wasn't around when that thing yeah, was higher. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. That's all right. No, Don't touch this. Everything, <laughs> everything is not available on this. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Wild. Stay there, folks. So Tommy and I are coming right back. You have the Dow Industrials right now uh, up two. Nasdaq is down four. S and P's are flat. We have gold contract down fourteen dollars fifty cents, trading twelve seventy five. Dollar up five sixty five. Gonna be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com educating investors learn how to trade options with swim lessons brought to you by td ameritrade think or swim next on tfnn Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, up two. Nasdaq is down three. S and P's are flat. Uh, gold's down at fourteen bucks. Let's go over to that gold market and take a look at the gold market. Yeah, because those retail sales coming out, gold had some volatility this morning around eight thirty. Certainly did. Yeah. Uh, you talk about a fast move down, right? So yeah. we've done two hundred and six thousand contracts. Not bad. You're coming into the B point of this ABC up. 291,000. Yeah, it's not going to, it's pretty cool. So, you know, on the 9th, we took the B point out of the ABC structure on the way up. And it doesn't look like it's going to do 290,000 contracts, you know. So we're at 206. Um, 
We'll see whether it does 250. Sure. But you just might have a rejection right there. Now, then we'll have to get back over the B point again, which is 1280. So okay. it turns out that would be considered a complex ABC structure. You know, you, you go over it with volume, come back underneath it. It has to be lighter volume than how you took it out. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, we'll see because it's still early. Actually, 10, well, it has to 130. Yeah, no, it's early. You know. On and a day like today where I think you've had that down 14 bucks off of yesterday's exactly, close, you could get exactly. some action. You know, so... Uh, if you take, take a look at the, let's go to the GDX. Just because you get the volume right inside that. Now, see, that's a nice pullback, man. Light volume. You know, you're back only with 9 million shares. You're going into 46 million. Sure. That's, I like that. That's what you're looking for. I don't think it's ready to buy yet. Uh, just because I don't think that dollar is done with that nice counter trend bounce that it looks like it wants to do. Because okay. what will happen out here today is that the dollar index does have the volume in it today. You know, it's yeah. interesting too, we just have those FOMC meeting minutes tomorrow, which will play yep. into both of those for they sure. They will. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. we get got swim lessons coming up next, and of course, then we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back, and it's Tuesday, so we got our man, Mr. Andy Heck. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 2nd, and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi everyone, this is Basil Chapman and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com.